All right, everyone, we're going to have a look at critical review stuff. Grab one of these, I'll need it back up. The last of these are temporary, just temporary viewing only. I'll explain why. This is actually a critical review of the study that we're looking at. This, this is a critical review of the paediatrics article, and it's a good one. And it was written about four years ago, and it was written by uh, a student who was a psychologist, so it was right in her field, right? and she was also a good critical thinker and a fairly good writer, so it's a nice product. Now, you know, if I hand this out and just say, okay, keep it, I'm going to get, you know, 20 pieces of writing that look almost the same back. Alright? <laughs> so the point of giving it to you now is so that we have a look at it for an hour. You can make any notes about ideas on a separate piece of paper. I'm going to collect it up off you. Alright? So the point of this is, you know, it's, it's a nice piece. You can make record of ideas. And, and tomorrow, because we haven't got all the class here, We'll have a fuller discussion and I hope other people will think of other ideas that we can inject into the whole mix, right? So this is a big injection of ideas into the mix. I don't want to see a kind of a carbon copy, a kind of photocopy, you know, put your cameras away, no photos, right? <laughs> um, you can take notes of anything there that you think, oh yeah, that's a pretty cool idea. Just as, as I've said, when we discuss it tomorrow and probably a bit on Monday, oh, that's a cool idea, you know, we collect. And out of that collection, you add some of your ideas and you throw some out because you haven't got space for them or you don't think they're more so important. And everyone will come up with a slightly different mix of ideas. All right. Can I make a statement? Yeah. Um, this one doesn't have any um, in-text reference or other reference. No, it doesn't. Because if you remember, I mean, um, the only one, it, it was on the title page. It said the referent, you know how you're going to give the bibliographical material of the article that you're studying. But she makes no reference to other studies. And if you remember, I've said with critical reviews, you don't need to mention other studies. The focus is purely on the chapter or the article or whatever it is that you're examining. You don't have to refer to other words. But what are we referring? Don't we have to reference that or? Um, no, no, you just mentioned it right. If you have a look at your Monash example, they have the bibliographical material at the top, Ballard and Clancy study abroad, da 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 da, and then they say Ballard and Clancy throughout, and they don't every time say Ballard and Clancy 1985, yeah. They, they don't make Harvard reference to the piece that they're actually reviewing. It's kind of unnecessary because you've said it right at the top. This is the reference. You get the idea? Yeah. Is there any in-text reference in? No, you won't need it. The only time the, the the Monash piece does do it because they mention another author, Kaplan, don't they? They mention Kaplan, and therefore there is a reference to Kaplan. But you don't have to do that. For a critical review, you do not have to refer to other texts. You can refer purely to the text that we're studying, and that's fine. So, you either have no reference list or a very, very short one. Okay. Is that clear? Yeah. yeah. Um, Alright, so we're going to read this through, and I suggest you have a piece of paper out, a separate piece of paper where you make notes as ideas come up. So, as I said, I'm going to collect this. You're not going to hang on to it. You're going to collect it. We're just going to discuss it. It's a model critical review of the article. And they, it might go out, we'll see how we go. It might go out again tomorrow, and we might pair people up with people who were not here yesterday, and again, you have a bit of a chance to talk about it with somebody else. But it's not for um, take home purposes, all right? It's just to get some ideas from. And uh, we can talk about the structure of it as well a little bit as we go. Okay, so we've got an hour. I want to get through it in an hour. So let's have a look. Introduction. Since 1960, it has been established. James, keep reading, please. Um, since 1960, it has been established that homosexuality is not a psychological disorder. However, this 
fact has not been accepted by the poor population of numerous countries. So nowadays, there is still a controversial situation regards the psychological adjustment of children who are nurtured by homosexual parents. Good, thanks. So it's just a broad opening you know, that you have for an introduction. So regards would be regarding, regarding, there's a few little errors, but not, not too bad, driving overall. Yeah, Marley, uh, keep going. Yes. Probably. Regarding the situation, regard. Regarding the psychological adjustment of children, just regard. Probably this probably concern is product of the um, how paucity, which means a lack of, not very many. A lack of. Paucity of research in the social issue. Therefore, scientific, medical, and so psychological researchers should be encouraged to conduct more studies about this subject. Despite the insub substantial number of studies, there has been a relevant one, of, one, that, uh, one that was accepted for publication on March 23, 2010. It, this, this research has led to important implications for society, such as clinical care of same-sex families, expert testimony, testimony provided by health professionals on law issues and public policies pertaining, pertaining like relevant, pertaining. pertaining to the parenting of homosexual mothers and fathers. Hence, this critical review will briefly explain this research and discuss all these, all the policies Phases, phases, it's stages. Yep. Okay, so you've got the classical introduction here, broad, narrowing down, isn't it, to the fact there's not a lot of research. However, there is this one, and this is going to be a critical review that explains the research and discusses all its phases. That's really your thesis statement. Just what what do I intend to do in this piece? Last sentence. So classic introduction with thesis statement, all good. Alright, um, I should say this person wrote 1100 words, which is a bit too long, and you know, you could shrink that a bit, that could be a bit tighter. Don't need to write something this long, and yeah, we could talk about where it could be shrunk. Probably, I think the first half of it overall, the whole, whole piece, the first half could be tightened up a little bit. Alright, so that's the introduction. So, what would we expect next in a critical review? Summary, right. We just expect a report of the actual study. Hannah, can you read a bit there, please? Just, just yep. um, in an introduction, situation regards this psychological adjustment of... Regarding. Regarding. Not with. No. Regarding. Hannah. First of all, the stated purpose of this research was to record the well-being of homosexual mothers. Of spring we were the result of artificial insemination. 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 And rare by their bio, bio, biolo, biological mothers. Thanks to an inscription of these mothers during their pregnancy to be part of this study, it has become the most extensive longitudinal yes. research of greatest duration of gay or lesbian families. The method employed to recruit, 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 recruit the sample was via unknown segments from 1986 to 1992. The total number of volunteering families that were involved in the final analysis of this research was 77. Good, thanks. That's before? Yeah. It's good, Lisa. Can you roll the cohort? The cohort of participants was, was composed of 71 lesbian couples and 16 lesbian mothers. The facts for this study were collected from 78 offspring and their respective mothers with the previous consent of the mother. The offspring's data was obtained from interview and the age of 10 and online questionnaires when they were 17 years old, while the data 
from the mother of us, get up to interview and child behavior testers at five different stages. It is important to mention that this research project is still being studied, retaining the 93% of the participants. You could just, no, you wouldn't put a verb before the 93 figure, retaining 93% of the participants. And a couple of other little errors earlier on. She says, thanks to the inscription of these mothers, inscription, not the right word, the involvement. Involvement. And uh, third line, thanks to the inscription of these mothers, the involvement. The facts for this study, she says, not facts, it's the data further down. The data for this study were collected. So just some little tiny changes, but nicely written, good, good I vocabulary. Think, I, sorry, John, I couldn't catch any significant what Ah, oh, third line, uh, just put involvement. It's well, just the wrong word. Well, third line. Yes, thanks to, thanks to the involvement of these mothers. And the other one? The data for this study, fourth line up from the bottom. And, and the third before 93. Okay, but you can see, you know, it's a fairly detailed description of the method, isn't it? The, the process of the study. Good, uh, Nancy. The results of this study show that the involvement of mothers in the research is Comparison?
make notes on a separate thing. We're looking at this as a model, what you need. So what we've learned so far, classic introduction, a paragraph on method, a paragraph on results. In your results, there should be something to do with the implications of those results. Oh, John, yeah. Paul, looks like a paper like that. We just repeat the, uh, repeat the article. What is the result in there? And what is the conclusion in there? Yeah, just use it's a summary. Word. That's right, exactly. Um, use your own words. It's a, it's a summary, isn't it, in your words of what that article is about. And this is a nice way to stage it so that you talk about the process and the method and then you talk about the results and the implications of those results. Yeah. Okay, so... Um, but why you collect what we wrote? I'm not collecting what you write. I'm collecting this thing <laughs> afterwards. <laughs> I'm picking this up. You're not going to hang on to it. This, well, you have to write on a separate piece. This is like it. Mm. This is like a perfect answer. Perfect. I'm not going to give you. A perfect, <laughs> I'm not going to give you a perfect answer for you to reproduce in a week's time. Okay, I'm giving you a glimpse, a glimpse, a short look at it. You can get some ideas from it. You can make some notes on a separate piece of paper. Then I'll collect it in 47 minutes. Okay. Okay. So if you made any notes on it, then you obviously have to move. Those notes to another piece of paper. Okay. If we read, if we read the finish, uh, if we finish the reading, can we just have some some notes? You make your notes as we go. All right. That's what I'm suggesting. We make notes as we go. We'll we'll we'll, we'll revisit it tomorrow as well because we, you, as I said, not everyone's here. What we might do is get probably we double our numbers roughly. We'll partner some people who are here, but people who are not, and you can take them through this article, rather than do all this again. Good exercise for you to pick out the key things that we're talking about now and explain them to somebody else, alright? So again, make notes with that idea in mind. Alright, um, so we would expect, if that's the end of the summary, we'd expect to shift to some sort of evaluation, wouldn't we? Let's see what happens. Nimica, some positive aspects. Some positive aspects in this research are related to the significance and contribution to the field, the validity of the evidence and results, and the arguments supporting the findings. Thus, despite the fact of some limitations in regards to the recruitment, sample, data, and machine groups. This research serves as a basis for further studies. For instance, it could be very interesting to study the well-being of adolescents reared by their biological gay fathers and contrast it with the findings from this research. About the evidence collected from the participants, its validity is strengthened by the features of the research such as prospective and long period because in this way the results obtained from the sample are more natural and we can assume that the, their mother did not enroll in this research knowing already that their children were performing well. Also, the uh, utilization of a psychological measuring instrument that is well known for its reliability, internal consistency and factor structure makes the results result valid and reliable. Besides, this uh, research is peer reviewed and the researchers have the professional knowledge and experience to conduct and interpret the data. Moreover, the funding sources play no role in any phase of the study, so it did not influence in the findings. Finally, the arguments in, the, in support of the findings are taken from facts, public general knowledge and findings from other studies in the same field. Good, thank you, Nimica. That's really nice, fluent reading. And my guess is you've, you've read quite a lot in English, yeah? Or read, have you read out loud much in English? Yeah, I, I noticed, you know, just part of the practice of reading out loud, I have suggested you do a lot of reading, okay? Because some of you are kind of struggling to read some words, and some of the longer words in particular. Obviously, it's got to get to the point where it's just natural and it flows. So, one of the things to do is just get an article 
could be this, could be the pediatrics piece, and just read it out loud. Not you, you understand it already. It's getting those words around your tongue, isn't it? How do, how do you get those words around your tongue? You're probably not going to speak a lot of those words in everyday life. The only way to do it is actually read out loud some of this material. Now, we've talked about reading kids' stuff, and that's a good start. But reading academic stuff means that academic words come out of your mouth and out of your mouth and out of your mouth. And so you say words like... What's a word that you don't usually say? Um, internal consistency. Consistency, 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 consistency. It becomes automatic, doesn't it? Or... Um, Utilisation, that's a good one. Utilisation, utilisation, so you don't go utilisation, utilisation, you know. Really, hours, hundreds of hours, I'm just reading. You would have done this in your native language, you know, the teacher says exactly what, you know, let, okay, read around class, you know, how many years did you do that? You've basically got to do it in this language. We're going to run out of class time soon. Do it in your own time. You know, even if it's quarter an hour a day of reading out loud, and do it with kids stuff, do it with academic stuff, do it in your professional and academic area, so you get those more complex words that are in your field, natural, and coming out of your mouth naturally. You probably know what a lot of these words mean, but they're just not, they're not being used, spoken, and that's a good way to get them out there. So that's just another one of the many things to build in as a, as a habit. But that's nicely read in okay. You've obviously had a fair bit of practice. Okay, what's this paragraph about? Yeah. It is evaluation and it's positive, isn't it? Here are the positive aspects. We'll come back to these in a minute. Despite the limitation and the... That's right, yeah. So, yeah, despite these limitations, she thinks this, <coughs> and then she goes on to list some of the, what she considers as the, as the strengths. Yes. As she said, it can be the basic of the further study. Yeah, so that's an overall judgement, that it's, it's good enough to use as a stepping stone for further things. If it was totally useless, of course, she couldn't. So that, that's part of an overall judgement. It doesn't mean, she says, it is not very complete. It is just the basic of the other further researchers. She's saying that it's got sufficient value to be the basis for further study. So it's part of an overall judgment of the piece. But then, then there's a further breakdown of the actual aspects that she thinks is worth. I, I, let's come back to that because I do want to make sure we cover the whole thing in time. Let's just push on. On the other hand, nice signaling from the next paragraph. Yep. Lynn, have a read. Pass. Oh. <laughs> On the other hand, the negative points of this research concerned the met methodology, methodology used for the study. First, the recruitment should be conducted through different types of media, including radio, television, and national newspapers as well. So the range, the range of a participation. Part participants, pa the people who participate. Participants yeah. would not have been limited to people from only metropolitan areas. Second, the sample was the sample. Well, the sample was mainly composed of less than mother mothers who were around 35 years old. <coughs> that may in, indicate a higher level of maternity, maturity, maturity influencing in their parenting performance. Per performance. Performance. Simil sim sim similarity. Similarly. Similarly, due to those mothers are volunteering participants, participants, participants. Yeah. it implies more, implies. Uh, implies more commitment and likely it may affect on their 
Keenness. Keenness. Keenness for achieving good quality results. That could benefit them. Good, thank you. Phil Hardy. Um, it should be noted. It should be noted that the sample might not be an appropriate representation of the whole population of lesbians because in diverse societies most of them cannot afford, afford to pay for an article artificial insemination. Third, the fact that there were no direct reports from the adolescents of the Achimba group might have uh, altered the findings. Teachers' report would have been useful to minimize this risk. However, a direct report from these adolescents would have been ideal. Fourth, one cannot really diagnose a person's condition only with one interview and the answer of only one only one online questionnaire. Good, thanks. thanks. Uh, uh, hey Tom. Besides, interviewing by telephone and online questionnaires to be completed and sent by for keep for this kind of research because all all the information from nonverbal language is omitted. If the instrument employed could be very reliable, but many external variables may interfere, interfere in the process when it is not applied under the same conditions for all the all the participants from both groups in com in comparison. Lastly. There is not sufficient information about this research due to the omission of some details as this, as this is just an article and not, not the whole research. Therefore, it is difficult to analyze broadly and accurately the approach and framework used for this research. Good, thank you. Um, Carmen. Um, in conclusion. In conclusion, notwithstanding the fact that this article does not include all the significant details from the world research. The information contained is relevant and adequate for public knowledge. However, the findings from the research should not be extended to offspring that are raised by their biological gay parents, since the stages involved adolescent from the same family. I would like to add that the article is well organized but not very clear to read because of some of the because to read because of some words that are uncommon and used metaphorically, even though it is still be different standards. Thank you. Alright. Alright, that's the whole thing. So, you know, it was a reasonable, a fairly good kind of review of the piece. And you can see negative aspects and then an overall conclusion. Which way does she come out? Is it a big no or a little yes or what would you say? Yeah, you can't just look at the actual size and amounts and the numbers of points. I guess, you know, what, what, does she, what do you think overall? Does she think overall it's... Is it above 50 percent, do you think? Is it a yes or is it a no overall? She, she has like, both positive and negative ideas, so... She, sorry? She, have, she has both negative and yes, positive. Yes, that's right. There are both. Yeah. Think mostly probably Yes. Yeah, I think it is a yes overall. This is bringing that scientific um, fact, saying that mm -hmm. you know, in the research, and it says that the article, it's um, article is well organized and not very clear. So the person acknowledged the article is written well, but it's it's unclear to understand. So 
that's really commenting on one particular aspect about how clear it is. If we're trying to get a, an understanding of the overall judgment, let's go, I mean, we've got a marker here, we've got a signpost, a little flag, in conclusion, yeah? What does that say? In conclusion, notwithstanding the type, despite the fact that this article does not include all significant details from Horace Epstein, the information contained in it is relevant and adequate for public knowledge. So, she overall believes it, you know, relevant.